Today's episode, we're going to take a closer look at some fuel hose and fuel hose differences, specifically in tank fuel hoses. Now, with the upgraded fuel system demands, with E85 especially being really, really uh, widely available these days, fuel systems need to be upgraded, which means fuel pumps need to be upgraded as well. A lot of people with pumps such as Walbro, Aeromotive, Deutschworks, all these pumps are big, big in tank capacity. A lot of people just upgrading the in tank fuel pump. What that also means is that you'll have a wiring demands need to be increased because they draw much more current but also you'll probably be replacing the fuel hose now there's a really important difference between normal fuel hose you might use in say the engine bay or under the car and the fuel hose you'll use inside the fuel tank now this episode's directed straight at those people who are going to upgrade that and maybe use the incorrect fuel hose i'm going to show you definitely why that should not be done and what fuel hose you definitely should use so stay tuned we'll run through it now on the backyard mechanics right what we have here is pretty typical of uh fuel system a couple of years ago before the big Walbro pumps were, were pretty available on the market and, and a lot cheaper. Other ones like uh, Aeromotive, Deutschworks and, and companies like this coming up with uh, 255, 340, 400 litre an hour, 460 litre an hour in tank fuel pumps. This here is a Bosch 040 that has been retrofitted into the factory cradle here on an FC RX-7. Installs pretty typical. Uh, you've got a hose clamp attaching it to the to the factory cradle upgraded wiring however where they have joined the factory f the fuel pump to the factory carrier they've definitely overlooked one very very critical part here and we'll just zoom in on on this to show you what i'm what i'm talking about when it comes to using fuel hose in an in tank submerged fuel environment it is imperative that you use the exact specific fuel hose for that purpose so you cannot just use any normal fuel hose or EFI rated hose it has to be specifically rated for submersible applications if not basically you can really really damage the hose you'll see here it actually has a little split here it's all cracked at the top also uh, just up here but not only that have a look at this if I just play with it with my fingers um, that hose is destroyed I mean it's basically been turned to jelly as you can see, I mean, that hose isn't going to hold any pressure whatsoever. Um, you've gone through all the trouble of installing this aftermarket high-rated expensive fuel pump and then you've come to the $10, $15 fuel hose to use. You've used the wrong kind and the, the results are catastrophic. This, this setup's totally ruined. Not only that, there is some debris in the fuel tank now also. So the fuel tank will have to come out and clean. So just from picking the wrong little section of 200 mil of fuel hose, you're basically left with a damaged pump and a dirty fuel tank now. Okay, so we know what fuel hose not to use now. Uh, what fuel hose should you be using? First option is probably these lengths. Th these are pretty commonly found in just about every uh, OEM application now. You can get uh, new versions of this when you are upgrading your, your fuel pump. Otherwise, if you just need a really small small section 100mm, such as that Bosch fuel pump install was, then a little bit of rubber hose will do the job. You just have to look out for is this SAE number here. See here this SAE number. For an in-tank submersible fuel hose, you should be only concerned with the numbers saying SAE 30R10. Obviously this is SAE 100R6, so this hose would definitely not be suitable for use inside of a fuel tank uh, environment, submersed in fuel. Alright, thanks for joining us today. I hope you learned something. I hope it was enjoyable. If there's any other product you want us to test or have a look at, or maybe you're a supplier, you'd like to get your product out in front of people, hey, shoot us a message down below, leave something in the comments, send us an email at sales at mrparts.com.au and uh, we'll see what we can do about it. But today, that's it. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you next time.